Welcome back to The Grind. In this video, we're going to talk about the Abyssal Tier update along with the release of new research and the tier-based discounting for breeding. With the breeding event, we will have the release of three legendary dragons, and that will be wave one of the Abyssal Tier release. There will be wave two and three coming, and I believe they'll all be two months apart. The first three legendary dragons in this Abyssal Tier um, the first one will be Cordis, a legendary dark warrior, and the breeding pair will be Archon and Methylex. We also will be seeing Oculex, a legendary earth hunter, and the breeding pair for this dragon will be Lucian and Capulos, if I said that correctly. The third one will be Orthoptar, the legendary wind sorcerer, and the breeding pair for this dragon will be Seraph and Tuktu, if that's correct uh, pronunciation. Uh, pretty cool looking dragons. The cost to breed these, the legendary dragons, will require 1,400 egg fragments. And the mythics that will be coming will require 2,600 egg fragments. We will finally also be seeing new research that will require garnet eggs. And each new block will require 12 to 25 garnet eggs. And... You can see the list of all the different research you can do in the next in the new edition. Uh, there will be damage and health bonuses to each of the fire, ice, electro, and dark flax. I guess they're not putting out research for earth flax. Um, and the bonus will be 10% for all except dark flax. The bonuses will be 5%. I'm pretty excited about this because I'm just about at the end of the line. I haven't bred any or haven't done any sapphire research yet, but the next ones up on my list are sapphire. So having these additions now will allow me to continue breeding more of the or continue researching more without having to stop and have nothing to research. I also think it's a nice addition to have these defensive stat boosts for your base in the research. Um, there have been some building stats before, but not very much as in regards to the flax, other than the dark flax. Um, so having this more well-rounded uh, options for research to help the base will be very significant, I think, in boosting the defensive stats of each person's base. Depending on the order that they're in, you may not have an option, but I would pre preferentially pick the dark flax HP and then either the fire flax HP or the dark flax damage. Um, and I don't have any of the other flax at this point, so those are the ones I'll be focusing on. Another exciting update that's coming to this next breeding event is the tier-based discount. Now you can see on the left is the, the different tiers. Uh, the middle column is the current discount, and the right side is the new discount. And basically, each tier from Platinum to Vanguard is getting a 15% additional discount on the percent of tokens required. In addition to that, similar to the previous uh, tier-based discounting that was done, there will also be a decrease in the amount of food and experience required to level up each dragon, as well as the amount of time required to incubate. Unfortunately, I do not have the exact details on that, but if I get those details, or when I do, I will try to update you on that. We will also be seeing some adjustments to the gold tier, as well as towers. In gold tier, there will be a discount by 65%, but this will be in regards to the number of egg fragments required for the dragons, instead of the number of tokens required for breeding. Now the towers will also be getting a discount on the percent of resources and time required for these constructions, and that will be based on the levels. Level 46 to 50, as you can see, will be 40%, and each level of these groups of tower levels will be getting an additional 10% compared to what they had previously. Uh, the 51 to 55 will be 30%, 56 to 65 will be 20, and 65 to 75 will be 10% discount. And above that will be at full price. Now these are some much needed and much appreciated adjustments that are being made, and I think it will make a difference to everybody in regards to their progression in the game. However, with the new release of the Abyssal Tier and the cost of the dragons and the tower upgrades, I think more needs to be done. And that is why a group of us got together to discuss some possible solutions. And we have started this sort of movement, I guess, called PG Can We Talk? 
And if you haven't heard about that or seen that, go check it out in the forums and see what that's all about and show your support. All right, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.